Hey everybody, my name is Keith Garner. I'm a consultant with DeploymentLive.com and today I want to show you the easy way to add drivers to your MDT Light Touch WinPE image. Now in most cases if you're using the latest version of WinPE, Microsoft will have all the necessary storage network drivers. But then if you're running a platform that's newer than your WinPE version, you may need to download some of the correct drivers and install them into your WinPE image. Now Dell has gone out and done a good job of gathering driver packs for all the different versions of WinPE for most of their platform environments. And they have what's called the driver catalog, which is an XML file that lists all the different driver packs and their corresponding versions of OS's and WinPE versions. And we can now write some scripts to utilize that. Now on this test machine, I have gone out and uh, installed the latest version of the ADK uh, that contains WinPE and MDT 2013. First thing I did with MDT 2013 is I went out and created a new deployment share. I ran the wizard and, and it's now actually finished installing on uh, the C drive. Let's go ahead and finish that. And as you can see with creating a new deployment share there's going to be no applications, there's going to be operating systems and out-of-box drivers are going to be empty, no task sequences. In the selection profiles we can see the default collection of selection profiles. And just as a reminder with the selection profiles, that allows us to specify or select subsets or different folders that we want to include or not include, and we could use that later. In fact, if we were to go into the properties of our uh, uh, deployment share and look at WinPE, we could see that right now we have, uh, when creating our WinPE image, MDT is automatically going to import any and all drivers that are network or mass storage. There are no drivers installed right now, so it won't do anything. But we can have it specified. Let's go ahead and use the selection profile instead. So let's go ahead and stop the MDT console here and run our program. This program is written in PowerShell. And I like using the verbose switch, and most of my, all my scripts, like to, I like to include the ability to use verbose and not. The script starts and we'll do a couple of things. First of all, we'll automatically determine what how many what version of MDT you have installed and where your deployment shares are located. If you have more than one deployment share, it'll prompt you for which deployment share you actually want to use. It'll also go on automatically determine what version of the ADK you're using. Uh, in this case, we determined that there's only uh, the ADK for Windows 8.1 is installed and we should use WinPE 5.0. It also downloads the driver catalog, extracts the files, and starts parsing it. And once it matches up the correct version of WinPE, it will find the correct driver CAD to install. And right now, it's actually writing that out to the machine right now. When it's done downloading the driver CAD file, it extracts out and will automatically import into the MDT console, which is what it's doing here. For this particular version of the ADK, the MPE, well, there are probably about 10 drivers for x86, 10 for drivers for x64. As you can see, there are a couple of uh, storage controller drivers and a couple of networking network drivers. And that's it. The script's done. Let's go back into our MDT console and see what it, see what it looks like. If I was to go into out-of-box drivers, I can now see two new folders. One, Dell WinPE x86. And I can see in here that it also contains uh, all the platforms x86. A couple of network drivers, SCSI and a uh, hard disk controller. For x64, I can see that all the drivers are x64, more SCSI, network, and uh, an HGC controller. If I was going to selection profiles, I now have two new items in selection profiles. One is Dell WinPX64, which corresponds to that new folder creating out of box drivers, and X86, which corresponds to the X86 folder in our drivers. Let's go into our properties now WinPE, drivers and packages. For here, I've automatically gone out and specified two told uh, MDT to only use the selection profiles for that Dell WinPE drivers. Of course, if you already have your own selection profile, you can go ahead and revert back to what you want to use and include the Dell WinPE driver uh, folder that was automatically created. But at this point, we're ready to create our, our driver pack. 
deployment share, update deployment share, and let's completely regenerate our boot images. Hit next, and that's it. That's all that's necessary to download the latest Dell drivers and get them running on your machine. This should work for the ADK for the and all of, and the Wake version 5.0. Hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for my next video.